Do 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 I'm a, I we're on a very tight budget. That's pretty much all of our money left. So we are going to a dollar movie and I am just really excited because I love to save money. Well, I don't know if you guys have friends that you just are like a kind of a different, crazier version of yourself with when you're around them, but that would definitely be Letty. She like brings out this energy from me that I just didn't really know that I had. <laughs> Babe, you were doing so awesome at not killing us. We're here at the theater. So have you guys seen this before? No. Okay. No. Passengers. Well, it's like 9 o'clock at night, and this one, she's leaving me. Her friends. It's not my first official shoot. I'm going and doing my very first birth story. She's going up to her parents and hang out because it's a lot closer to where her friend is having the baby. It's giving birth. So, I'm sad, but I'm happy for her. Yep, just getting my bag ready, getting my camera and all my equipment. I don't have very much yet. I am like so, so devastated because I missed my friend's birth. I drove down like an hour away and was staying with my parents. She was keeping me updated just to letting me know like when I should head over there and she said they weren't gonna give her like the potest, whatever, the medicine to induce her basically for another 12 hours. I figured that I would just go back to my house and then I would check in with her in the morning then the next morning she was saying that the nurses were guessing that she wouldn't go into labor till around 7 p.m. so I thought oh I'm fine to go and babysit today then I can head on over there around you know 3 30 4 o'clock and I'll be totally fine then she texts me at noon and says it is like progressing so rapidly and I'm like frantically texting everybody panicking trying to get somebody to come over and like take over and watch the kids so I can leave and nobody is available and I missed it I missed the whole thing and I'm so frustrated and sad <sighs> life is not all cupcakes and rainbows people sometimes you miss things that you really don't want to I hope the universe is happy my diet is ruined I had a hard day I deserve this today is a super crazy busy day right now I'm actually on my way to my eyelash appointment as you can see their bare minimum again. I'm also gonna be shooting two videos today for my Coley Media business. And I just feel like it's really picking up, which is so exciting because I'm super passionate about videography. Things are looking up, it's just a really good day. And yesterday was an awesome day. I got emails from like three different companies asking if I would wanna do a collab with them. As you can see, I'm getting gas right now. And then I'm headed to a girl's house who just had a baby and I'm gonna do a lifestyle video for that. I'm just feeling really good today. Oh, Chloe, hello. Come here, you old geezer. Oh, good girl. <laughs> Here's my eyelash. I don't know if this is good lighting, if you can see, but dang, those are full. I forgot how full they can be. Also, I have this little zip thing going on right here. I don't know, I just woke up and I was there. I'm about to go in to meet my friend's baby and I'm so excited to get this lifestyle story done. Well, hello, little baby. Your eyes have never seen the sun. You should know. 